Hi, in this video, we will take a look at some of the new features introduced in Siltwatch Security Analytics app of Cisco DNA Center. Some of the new features include support for provisioning UDP director using Siltwatch Security Analytics app, coexistence of ETA with AVC support, and some minor changes to the provisioning workflow. We will take a look at all of these features in this video. As you can see, I am running Cisco DNA Center version 2.1.2.x. Let's take a look at the new workflow changes which were introduced to the SSA app. We will now navigate to the SSA app by clicking on the hamburger menu, Provision, Stealthwatch Security Analytics. Click on the sidecar to get started and click on Get Started. If you take a look at this page, you can see that you can no longer select a flow destination in this page. This was the change which was introduced in 2.1.x version. If you need to select your flow destination, you would need to do that in the design section of Cisco DNA Center. But if you would like to change it during the initial provisioning, you can click on change settings to do that. And this would again take you to the design section of Cisco DNA Center. So we will now go to the design section to take a look how it is done. To go to the design section, click on the hamburger menu, design and network settings. If you take a look at this network settings page, you can see that there is a new section called Stealthwatch Flow Destination. To add this section, click on the add servers and select the checkbox Stealthwatch Flow Destination and click on OK. Once you select this checkbox, you can see this new section coming down here and you can see a drop down which lists all the UDP directors and flow collectors which are integrated with the Stealth Watch. You can choose the UDP director or a flow collector as your flow destination for the particular site. Alternatively, you could even choose a standalone flow destination. To do that, click on the radio button, add an external flow destination server which is a standalone flow destination. Enter the IP address of the flow destination or the flow collector and enter the port in which it is listening to and click on save button. In this video, we will select the option of UDP director as our flow destination and we'll click on save button. We will now go back to Stillport Security Analytics app to continue with the workflow. I click on the provision still watch security analytics click on the sidecar to get started click on get started no changes to the still watch flow destination so i'm going to click next as you can see there are some new ui changes which got introduced one such change is the exclude device option the toggle button is available to exclude a device from provisioning eda you can choose our individual device to exclude or you can exclude all the devices from enabling ETA, uh, we'll make no changes to this option. Uh, and if you navigate to the telemetry column and do a mouse hover, you can see that a new pop up which says device is running 17.3.1 or above and compatible with AVC. What it means is with the introduction of Cisco DNA Center release 2.1.2.x and platform version 17.3.1 you can configure ETA and AVC on the same interface of a switch. We will now go ahead and enable ETA on the network device. To do that, we will click on the enable button. Once we click on the enable button, we can view the deployment status by clicking on view deployment status link. We can see that the provisioning is in progress for the SSA. We will wait for the provisioning to complete. Now that the provisioning is complete and status shows success, we will go back to Stealthwatch Security Analytics page. To do that, I will go to Provision, Stealthwatch Security Analytics. I will click on the sidecar to view the status. And the status shows enabled for the network device. We can also see a small information which says if you have a network device which is upgraded from a older version to 17.3.1, we recommend to do a one-time disable and enable of Stealthwatch Security Analytics. This helps in network device being compatible with running both AVC and ETA on the same interface. Now that ETA is enabled, we will now go ahead and configure AVC on the same switch. 
and we will take a look at the commands which got pushed to the interrupt device. But even before we go ahead and enable AVC, let's see what commands are pushed on the network device by Stealthwatch Security Analytics app. To do that, I'll navigate to the command runner tool of Cisco DNA Center and I'll do a show run command. And if I do that, I, you can see that there is ETA configuration which is configured for a flow monitor and also you can see that there is a ETA command which got pushed which is ET analytics and if you go to the interface configuration you can see only the ET analytics being enabled on the interface you can no longer see the FNF config with this we'll now go ahead and configure the AVC on the interface to enable AVC we'll go back to the inventory page to do that we'll go to hamburger menu provision inventory we'll select the network device and we'll click on action telemetry and enable telemetry once the avc is enabled we can view the status by navigating to the provisioning focus we can see that the provisioning status is success we can view the details by clicking on see details and again clicking on see details from the device controllability and telemetry app name if we scroll down a little bit we can see that under application telemetry the deployment of application telemetry setting is initiated and it is successful we will now go back to the command runner tool of dna center to see what commands are pushed onto the network device in the command runner tool we will check what are all the commands which are pushed by enabling application telemetry. Let us click on the show run sec flow command. We can see that AVC has pushed a flow record called as DNAC record. It has also pushed a flow exporter called as DNAC exporter. And it has configured a flow monitor called as DNAC monitor which has both exporter and records configured in it. And when we click on the show run interface command it tells us IP flow monitor DNAC input and output commands are configured on the same interface where ET analytics is also enabled. So with this we have concluded that we can configure UDP director or any other standalone flow collector as a destination using Stealthwatch security analytics. Uh, we can also enable ETA and AVC on the same interface from platform release 17.3.1 and DNA center release 2.1.2.x. This concludes the video demo. Thanks for watching.